Good evening, Nerd Fam, and welcome back to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here at the end of day two of three days of coverage on theCUBE at Google Cloud Next. It has been an absolutely fantastic week. My name's Savannah Peterson, joined by the Dream Team, Rebecca Knight, John Furrier, and Rob Streche. Y'all have just been crushing it this week. Very impressed with the energy, the interviews, our guests have been great. It's our special Savvy Swag segment, but before we get into the goods, I'd love to ask you each just for a quick highlight today. We'll start with John. My favorite was Chen Goldberg came, Ken, Ken Goldberg came on, she talked about the Kubernetes 10-year-old anniversary, so it's kind of a private win for, oh, well, public because it's a community, but the Q's been to every KubeCon. I know, and, I love that, and, and that's, that's how I met you. That's how we Aww, met Savannah, yeah. and, and it's just, it's been one of those moments in the industry where it actually worked, <laughs> and working, so it really that was a that's good a segment, point. and then we just had um, H HCL Tech, which is doing some amazing, they're all in with Google mm -hmm. Cloud, so good, good to hear that, and there's just tons of great stories around more of the same, which is next generation AI's here, generative AI enterprise, all, all good stuff, typical, great cube day, as usual. Yeah. Tip, yes, I agree with everything John has said. I really also enjoyed Karen Dayhut, self-described mission junkie. She's the CEO Love of Google energy. Public Sector. I know, yeah, right? Yeah, that's great. Um, and she just had a lot of great things to say about how Google is helping to modernize our federal government and also local and state government. Which is a huge issue right For now. For sure, that oh yes. Regulation <laughs> is, is kind of the elephant in the room that I think a lot It'll of people are It'll remain a big <laughs> issue for a long time. Exactly, so, no, yeah. absolutely. Ron, what about you? Yeah, I, I think again, it comes back to simplification, making AI easier, and there was a lot of really good guests on from HCL and PwC and a number of yeah. others that were on talking about how they're bringing different apps to different things. We talked about tax and sustainability, which. <laughs> that was the most unexpected one to I, me, for I sure. I did not think I'd be talking tax and sustainability with PwC. That tis was the that season. Was, tis, tis <laughs> the season. Yeah. Also, one, one favorite one was um, Karen from Public Sector gave a public shout out to Kevin Mandian, which I thought was awesome because we've had him on theCUBE, and he's on the board of the Google yes. Cloud Public Cloud Venture. Yeah. So that was a random but cool shout out. Yeah, definitely very cool. I'm glad I'm glad you brought that up too. I mean, that PwC segment was definitely fun, and I hadn't yeah. really, I hadn't really thought about modernizing tax at the enterprise level no one wants to pay before taxes. in my life, <laughs> yeah. frankly. Yeah. But as a business owner, everything that they were saying made so much sense. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Was, so what was yours? What was your takeaway? Oh man, it's it's tough. I think one of the things that I really took away from is how many people are playing together to achieve success in this space. And you've got, you know, with Google announcing their ARM CPU, there's just, it, I, there's a sense that everyone needs components from each other right now, or needs software from each other to be able to be successful. And so this culture of collaboration, which I don't always associate with enterprise, I really find, I, I associate much more with the open source community, I feel like that's really bleeding into this space and that yeah. Gen AI is the yeah. backbone of that. Yeah, I mean, I, I think, again, we had Mark yeah. Lohmeyer on and uh, Arm on earlier, and what he's building in that, in the CPU, TPU, GPU space, is then Hen is coming on and putting the software yeah. on top of the operating environment, which the run environment, which is I think just super interesting how they're really working together, and especially when you get to distributed cloud. So I, I think it's been an exciting week. And, and the ecosystem here with the booths. I mean, you, yeah. you have a show that we would, you look like, go back four or five years ago, like Google Cloud, the challenger, as it was to put him, I call it, I mean, trying hard to be number three really has come into a great position. And Very much. The, they're voting with their wallet with the booth sizes, their participation. So you know, with that ecosystem comes, get the attention, Savannah. Yeah. So yeah. the question is, what's the swag look like? Because <laughs> I was going to say, my gonna, favorite like, part of the day is not happening. You know, <laughs> let's get honest. into like, the <laughs> real is. story, which is who's got the best swag? Exactly, well, you know, I love going to talk to all the booths because you get to chat with people and they have put a lot of thought into their marketing, at least some of them. As you know, we won't just feature any t-shirt or any pair of socks on the yeah. show. We it's got standards. Gotta, it's got to yep. be impressive. Yep. But the thing that I obviously noticed, given the branding, Totally AI savvy. It's like they knew savvy was going to come oh by. God. That is a that's Unreal. a troll. Win. Yeah, that's I, I a mean, trolling win right yeah. there. Yeah, no <laughs> troll for the win. Yeah. Don't they say that everyone's favorite <laughs> word in the in their language is their name for or sure. something? Yes. So I mean, when I saw this bag, of course, an instant it, winner. It was an instant, an instant <laughs> winner. We've all got a lot of energy on the show, and I think we were all serving big data energy. Oh yeah, BD. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got that BD. Yeah. You got that BD going on here. You know. Yeah. 
out. Uh, by the way, the bunny's name is Captain you Bun might, Bun. You might need this. Aw, oh, there you that go. Might be that's a, go. <laughs> First of all, big day, that's a, that's yes. old school it term. Is. I know. That's Starburst yeah. going old school. Right. Going old school. Jet AI energy. With a very catchy trucker hat, too. We see yes. a lot of black. It's nice to see some color, especially with the pool right outside that's, here that's in Mandalay. That's an 80s, 90s throwback, too. Yeah. Super. No, they've got, they've got some oh, trucker hats are all, all the reason. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. And the bucket hats. I'm not featuring any bucket hats because we featured them before, but they are bucket hats. Red Hat even went bucket hat this time instead ah. of their typical fedora. Okay. So we are in a bucket hat era. Uh, I've got a fun surprise for you in my backpack, actually. I love that the folks at Release brought me over a cube, specifically, obviously, because oh my of my gosh. earrings. And we see a lot of uh, Rubik's cubes on these show floors, but they're not always branded. And this is a really fun opportunity. And this one is done, so it's not going to frustrate you That's good. the whole time, which I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, this is a, a runner for my top, and I'm going to wait till the end of the segment to announce, but this was a really nice find. As you may or may not know, 80% of swag ends up in the landfill within the first year wow, of being produced, that's which is really sad. It's a multi-billion dollar industry, and it's pretty depressing. But when you're, when, so I'm a big fan of swag with intent, high quality swag that people are going to use and utilize. Swag. And who doesn't want a Yeti mug? I mean, I know Stanley's having its moment, but my gosh, this is a really valuable piece of swag. It's really durable and heavy. I'm, I'm excited. I'm probably going to keep that. I really appreciate it. <laughs> I really appreciate that the folks at Alcura put that together. It's just, it's, it's definitely nice, and they've got good energy uh, over back there by the bar. We also would be silly not to mention the swag from our friends at McKinsey. Oh, yeah. I got we had rewired. Yours. Rodney was nice enough to sign this bad boy for us, which wow. was really sweet. That was a super special interview that we got to do. Rebecca, I really enjoyed yeah. getting to do that. And uh, this was, okay, I have never seen this at a show, and this is, Starburst really has a cool thing going on. This is a tactical pen. So there is a compass on the end of this. There's a flashlight inside, stylus, and if you unscrew it, it's even got a little screwdriver, which is kind of fun. So we had a, we had a multi-tool from Intel on at Paris that was one of our, our favorites. That actually came home yes. with me. It doesn't the preppers out there. Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also in vogue, like the bucket hat, is the tiny backpack. Tiny mm. backpacks are making a comeback. My, my coach purse is a tiny backpack. Really like that the Confluent people went ahead and did that. It's a, it's a nice alternative to the tote bag, not that there's any shame in the tote bag. We are in Las Vegas, and I love a good localized activation. The Optimizely folks have made custom decks of cards. I saw a couple of, uh, other ones out there, but it's just a really nice touch. I, it, these conferences are such an uh, epic opportunity to make an impression, and why not have fun with it? I, I find so many companies really just kind of mail it in and, and are boring. Speaking of not being boring, this was rad. Full Story actually lets you customize your own embroidery on your beanie. They've got their branding on the back, but you can put whatever you want on the front. Noah on our production team and I went and got our custom beanies. And their activation was really cool too because you didn't have to wait in some long line. You put in your information and then they texted you when your hat was ready, which was really nice too. So it wasn't a distraction from your show experience. Definitely something that will be coming home with me. The first piece of swag that I picked up today, because it really spoke to me also being in Las Vegas, which is just absolutely, oops, let me get that sticker off there so it's not distracting, was this 404 Broken AF yeah. T-shirt from <laughs> from Mabel. I think you know at the end of a multi-day show in Las Vegas, everyone feels a little bit like their own mm. 404 code, and and this one really just made me smile. I, I do <laughs> love the sense of humor that folks have a tendency to bring to these shows. Also, given how dehydrated we are in Las Vegas, Pythian has a chapstick, and also they are doing robot sketch drawings. So this is really fun. You go in, you take a selfie in their booth, and then there's actually a robot arm that draws it for you right there in just a couple seconds. Fun little souvenir. I guess that is a job that that the robots are replacing to a degree a little bit. <laughs> if the sketch artist is now being replaced by a sketch bot, I hadn't really thought about that, but that is a whole thing. John, why don't you talk about the yearbook? So, well, yeah. you, did you have yours? No, I didn't, mine never printed out. Okay, so. Yes, so. Um, one of the activations here, this is really fun, this is Octo, from Octo AI. A op, Octo AI, yep. From Octo AI, their AI combines two models. They're trying to illustrate how you mix two different types of models. And it, and it uh, comes a, up with what you were like in high school. 
So what your, what your yearbook photo would have been. So John Furrier was most likely to master time travel technology, and he just looks just fabulous here. The lasers, wow. it's the laser lights, it's yes. 80s. Yes. It's, so, very, it's, they it's, definitely, it's a very fun, that's super fun. You take a selfie, and then it calculates the image, gets the text. Oh yeah. De-ages you. Yeah, I, I mean, love it. you know, a little, a little zhuzh never yeah. hurt anyone. Yeah, right. Just a little zhuzh. <laughs> just, just a little zhuzh. I yeah, am a always little, yeah. a little more than a little. <laughs> <laughs> I really am a fan of the folks at Wiz when it comes to swag. They do a really good job. Their whole installation this week is a diner. They actually have Elvis serving donuts in their booth. But in addition to their lovely and very bright tote bag that was easy to see on the show floor, they also have diner socks, which are pretty darn cute and a little notebook. So you can get cozy and, and also- uh, Do a little you know, journaling. Yeah, do a little journaling. Yeah. That's exactly what I think of doing after a show, is just getting, <laughs> just curling up and doing some journaling. Having some me time. <laughs> but I do think it's really cute. I might actually keep this notebook because it's so fun. Googs is uh, doing an activation where they are letting you send postcards. We see these at show floors, but it is kind of a nice thing. Say hi to mom, hi mom, while we're here, and, uh, and send a postcard to a friend. We also, oh this is, we only have one more t-shirt for us today. And this one is from Redis, unstructured like my data. If you know me <laughs> at all, you know that I am not a structured person. So this one very much made me smile. And again, just another clever example of, of companies doing something a little bit different. I had to go by and, and say hello to our friends at HCL and see what they had up. Really high quality notebook here. Yeah, just a classic, can't, can't go wrong, a lot of people with the notebooks. Ever, apparently we're all going to go home and journal. <laughs> so old school, it's such a throwback. Yeah, too. such a yeah. throwback. Okay, so this was the biggest surprise to me on the show floor. I've never seen this as swag, and I can't say that about a lot of things. Logi did a croc charm. Oh. This is the little charm that you put in your crocs. Crocs having a moment like the bucket hat, like the tiny backpack, everything. I was just going to say ugly is new again, but that's <laughs> my own personal opinion. But I did think this was really kind of fun and clever. And I mean, if you are a croc wearer, most people wear their crocs all the time. What a great place to have your brand. For sure. I was going to say, yeah, I wear crocs. You know what the little holes are for? Let your dignity out. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure what D word you were going to use. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let your dignity out. No, I, 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 I get it. Well, that holds it in. Well, then, well, then there you go. There, there is. You. That Thank is you. just for you, oh, Rob. Excellent. You can, you can contain your dignity. Uh, as someone who uses a lot of bandanas, I thought this Rocky Linux uh, bandana was kind of. Nice, just because it's not like everything else. You don't see a lot of bandanas on the show floor. So this will probably turn into one of my many sweat rags for sitting under these beautiful hot lights. But that was very thoughtful of them. We've also got, oh, this is just fun if anyone wants to play. We've got a color, uh, a light up bouncy ball. A lot of fidget spinners and a lot of little hand toys, but yeah. a little lighty ball is just a little more fun, in my opinion. Oh, this one was super cool. So this is from Dialpad. This is actually an aromatherapy diffuser that huh. plugs into your laptop ah. so that your workspace, wherever you are, right. will smell lovely. Lavender. I like to think of it as maybe, it's, it's not a humidifier, but in my mind it is because it's so dry here. So yes. I thought, okay. I did think this was a really cute yeah. and just thoughtful, different. There's not a lot of things that smell good at conferences. It's nice that there's it's something true. that smells good. I think that's great. One pair of sunglasses for us today. This is from the folks at scale. Just thought it was a nice color, you know? Yes. From at scale? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. No, it's just a nice little hue. I dig the color. Match their yeah. outfits. Yeah. It's the type of color you would actually wear. You know, I think sometimes some of these branded at sunglasses scale. can get a little uh, tacky. Yep. And these were the type where I would not be embarrassed if someone reached in my car and, and checked it out. Uh, Palumi has some really cute stuff going on. So they do, and I like this actually, they do custom stickers for every event that they go to to make it a collector item. People can put them on their laptop, do their little thing, little platypus. Nice. Apparently when we were in Paris, and I'm sad that I missed this, they did a platypus with a croissant. Oh. Which I, I really feel like I missed out on. They also hooked it up with some very fun socks and a koozie, Vegas place where you definitely need to keep your beverage cold no matter what is in that beverage. And uh, yeah, I think that's actually our whole shebang from, from this crew. Let me just make sure I didn't miss anything in my little tiny baby pocket. So 
That leads us to the debate. Which of these? I do like the book that was personally signed by our guest on the queue. <laughs> it was very perfect for just the overall intimacy of the gift, of the swag. Right. Yeah. You know, that was very cool. No, um, I think that is nice. The, that's, aroma, that was really the aroma not thing for definitely that's, is that smart. Is, uh, I was going to say, the aroma ther therapy thing I think is really <laughs> yeah. cool. That I've gets never my, seen that, that gets before. That creative right? I know, I that's thought this very was creative. very clever. I yeah. thought this was super clever. What do you think you would use the most? I would definitely try. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I like I like this color. I mean, this this color is so in it's right such now, a good and, color. and and, and this is, is a, this is a cute thing. I I, I appreciate this, yeah. and especially yeah, because the the company branding is not so in your face. It's just, right. I, I, so I, I like this. I like. I think I would use this. I love the 404 yeah. throwback to the URL not found. Right, that's oh, what I mean. a generational yeah. throwback, and it's got the word, the letters AF in, which is very modern. For um, sure, slang. Gen, Gen Z. You know, You're yeah. so yeah. hip, John. You know, like it, it, bridges, <laughs> it bridges both cultures. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It does. Would you say that's your fave then? I think it's my fave. I think so. But I'm. But I'm. I'm with these guys. That this is. This. I have never seen this before. So I know. there you go. It's. It's. It's such a nice touch. I. I think I'll actually use quite a bit of this stuff, which makes me feel good about the fact that it's not all going to go in into the landfill. And I'm definitely going to cherish this Alkira yet. Uh, the Yeti mug is. That's like yeah. high. That's, that's a high, that's quality high quality winner. That's yeah. a high quality. Yeah. This is the quality. That, that ain't cheap. That no, ain't cheap. this is not cheap. Yeah. And, it, and it's thoughtful. And you know what people aren't going to do? Throw it out. No. Right. You, uh, you would give it to someone, even if, even if you it's had one quality. already yourself. Yeah. Super high quality. I mean, really high quality. From books to custom beanies to... It's the most versatile format, too. Car, car I do like that holder. it was in that format. I noticed yeah. that, too. There's, I saw some wine, you know, kind of the tumbler style, and this one is just... It's, it's good. It's very yeah. succinct. Multiple. I think the, um, the, the... My favorite is the aroma thing because it's got the generative theme to it. It generates something. Ooh, I love so, that. So to me, wow. it's, 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 it's deep. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> exactly. It's next level. It's deep tech. Oh, and it smells really it's, nice. It's yeah. kind of like what we do, yeah. deep yeah. tech. Yeah. Very. Yeah. 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 It's deep nice. It's actually kind of ener it's energizing. <laughs> it is. It's I think it's meant to be calming. invigorating it's, it's, yeah. in a yeah. sense. It smells, yeah. smells like I need a massage. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, too. Any spa certificates? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I know. That is yeah. nice. Yeah. I know. It's it nice. And all of a sudden, it smells a lot better. I know. Sale pad for the win. It's going to put a little bit on. been a long day at the Cube. Yeah. You're going out tonight. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, this was great. Thank you so much for just a fantastic day. It doesn't feel like work when I hang out yeah. with the three of you. It feels like a, a gift, and, and all of our guests are so exciting. We've got another power pack today. Yeah. Tomorrow, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. John, Rebecca, yeah. Rob, yeah. thank you so much for your help today. Thanks for great swag segment. helping yeah. me decide what great. our winners yeah. are, too. I mean, You're tough welcome. call, right? Yeah. yeah, you did a great job. <laughs> well, you did a great well, job, and I all, love this color. First of all, yeah. thank you for doing this segment, because it's become quite the thing. Now they got the savvy gamification. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Pre gaming and engineering the win. Yeah. <laughs> and so I got to vote for the, the, the savvy logo. I mean, the logo. bag is pretty. The I bag has yeah. got to go back yeah. to the original. I know. I mean, this will also get some use with I me mean, for sure. All the marketing people watching now, this now, we got to win next time. So, yeah. now, <laughs> so, what is the criteria if you had to say now to people, if Great you want to win the sw swag award here, <laughs> the savvy swag, what is the criteria? Is it a black box or do you have some special? <laughs> I appreciate, Formula. okay, so the way that I think about it is, was it thoughtful? I mean, just period. Because most, if you just slapped your logo on a shirt, that's not thoughtful. So are we thinking about swagger? Are you thinking about how, brand is everything that people say about your company when you're not in the room. So I think it's incredibly critical. So I, I'm thinking about if you thought about it, I'm thinking about if it's local in any way, that's a huge player mm. for me. I loved when we were in Detroit, they used a lot of local vendors to upcycle wool shirts into koozies. And they had picked artists from there to do custom shirts for people. And there was just, there were a lot of things there that really activated the local economy, rather yeah. than just having things shipped from Shenzhen with your logo strapped on there. And boy, if it's a shirt, it has to be comfortable. Right. I oh. mean, it won't even be considered. Totally. If you're yeah, walking and the point. logo sticks to your chest, <laughs> Right. Yeah, come on, not happening. No, no, I totally, yeah. John, that's a really good point. And that's so the, the other category that I really think about is utility. Yep. Is this just a novelty? We've had some fun desk toys and things on the show before that are interesting to look at, but am I really going to touch that in six months or even yeah. a week? Probably not. I think that that having function and, and being able to, to use it again and again. And then I also think the last factor I think of is how many brand impressions am I going to get from this swag? If I'm using it, you know, is it something that's going to sit in the closet or sit on a shelf or is it going to be my mug that's in my car every time I drive? 
to our studio in Palo Alto. So, but there is that X factor. Is it fun? Is it funny? Yeah. Is it BD energy? You know, is yeah. it is it this? Is it that? right? Oh yeah, and is it catchy? I mean, did it make me feel something? Smile, yeah. laugh. Yeah. Do yeah. I think you're right. clever? Right, exactly. You know? and yeah. it tells you a little bit about the culture within an organization, how they treat That's their exactly staff, right. yeah. and 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 what their attitude is, and and it's really fun to see their eyes light up when they realize that we're going to feature it on yeah. the show. So I really appreciate getting to do this segment with the three of it's you. Really it's really cool. It's a nice touch. I think that's a wrap for day two. It's been yeah. absolutely oh, I think brilliant. So. I think we're yeah. we're going to enjoy the show yeah. that Google's putting on. We got Kings of Leon. We got DJs going on tonight. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Before we do anything else, I need to say a very special thank you to Andrew Anderson, Jay, and Noah, who are holding yeah. down the mm -hmm. fort on the production side. Also to Don, who's rocking it. He's selling something right now <laughs> over there. I can tell. Dealing and dealing. Yeah. I don't think he's selling. I think he's listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to be listening to the replay of this broadcast. Now, now that we were all chatting about yeah, him. Up here is a buzz and done. And thank all of you for tuning in to day two of our coverage here at Google Cloud Next in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech coverage. <laughs>